Is there a way to look any better? <laughs> I don't think so. It is 6.05 a.m. for day five of chemotherapy. Coffee's ready, but I now start my day with an Enterade. If you are in chemo or gonna be in chemo, highly recommend you invest in these. This is a medical drink that helps manage digestive imbalance, reduce fluid loss, stool frequency, and stool volume associated with diarrhea, and it helps hydrate, rebuild, and protect the gut lining, specifically a dietary management of GI dysfunction during cancer treatment. So now I start my day with one of these every day and a probiotic, so let's do that. It tastes okay. We're gonna have a good day. It's gonna be a weird day. Zit sicker. Zit sicker. Because we wanna look good when we're putting these chemicals in our body. Also, I've been obsessed this entire time throughout treatment with banana pancakes. Like a pregnant woman with a craving, like I have them every single day. So I'm gonna make myself some banana pancakes to either eat before I leave or take with me. I'm whispering because it's early and Elliot's still waking up. And my mom introduced me to this Kodak brand of pancake mix that has 15 grams of protein in it. So protein is hard to get when you're not feeling well during this treatment. But not if you're just making banana pancakes every morning like a neurotic little weirdo. <laughs> I cook them with a lot of butter in the pan so the edges get really crispy. It's probably not good for me, but I love it. Wow, see? Look at all that butter. It makes it so crispy. This is today's fit. Feels appropriate. This is the other hat option that I will be bringing with me, courtesy of Mamrie's new friends from Weekend of Vivs. Thank you so much. Look at this human billboard of cheeky, morbid sentiments. Some really good pump up music for the ride over. Okay, we're cool. in the car. Cool. There's a police officer. Am I gonna get in trouble for vlogging in the That's passenger seat? That's not a police seat? officer, excuse me. Oh. My <laughs> second. We are in the car on our way to round five of chemo, which honestly feels very strange to process because after this, there's one more. What are your pre-chemo thoughts? Cool, Denny's. Denny's. He's. I don't know, babe. What do you think? I feel lots of different feelings. I'm so excited that it's round five. I am nervous for obviously all of the aftermath that happens after every chemo day and I have to take a sh**. So there is a variety of competitive feelings in my body. How about you? Same. All three? Yeah. Yeah. All right, well, uh, Hematology Oncology Center of Beverly Hills, we're about to come on in and take over your bathrooms. <laughs> it has begun. I can't hear sh**. My head is in the freezing state. The first half hour of pump capping feels like you have a brain freeze, which is fun. And we started our pre-medication. So let's do it. I can't tell if I'm talking loud or not loud. I have an air conditioning unit to my left. Curious liquids flowing in my body on my right. What a time to be alive. This is the part of the infusion where I hold ice bags on my hands and feet to prevent neuropathy. Everything's frozen. Look at this disgusting looking delicious brought from home tin of pancakes. What's your deal? <laughs> it's very, very cold in here today. Minus the fact that my head is frozen. We're up to three blankets, but only an hour and five minutes for this to cool down before we can get the fuck out of here. Oh my god, round five is officially over. Look at this hair. Wow, that means there's only one round left. I'll be honest, I feel weird after that round. I feel my stomach feels a little weird and I feel a little dizzy. Uh, my head was for sure frozen that whole time, but I'm um, very glad it's uh, another one down and we have literally one left. That's crazy. Let's go sit in 
a frustrating amount of traffic before we can celebrate. <laughs> okay, so we've been back from infusions for a couple hours and I'm definitely more tired than I have been immediately after infusions before. So it's definitely getting harder each round. Who could have possibly guessed? With my little bit of energy, I just smoked a little bit of a joint. I took this little lady on a W. Oh, she's sleepy now. And I'm making myself some simple food. I'm trying this recipe for a no cream potato soup made with coconut milk. We'll see how it goes. Last week I made myself a regular potato soup with like heavy cream and it was delicious, but I don't know what it did to my body after that. So we're gonna try no cream and see how that goes. Wow, I cannot believe that we finished five of six infusions. Like it really hasn't hit me yet. I posted about it on Instagram and that made it a little bit more real. But wow, I cannot believe that there's only one left. I, oh man, it makes, like I'm, I'm too tired to cry about it, but I feel very emotional about it because these are getting fucking difficult and whew. at one point i really wanted to quit after four but long term thinking i can do it i can do six and uh, we're doing it there's only one more left and that makes six okay i gotta tend to my soup okay update the bread is almost done update the no cream potato soup is delicious and this man on 90 day fiance is insane <laughs> Okay, it's Thursday. That means hydration day. We're back, baby. No butt shots this time. What are you getting up to over there? No, that's not right. He's decided he's doing all of my needles today. Oh, good morning. It is Friday after hydration. I'm feeling pretty good. I did one of the main things on my uh, to-do list today. I took a shower and guess what? making banana pancakes because we can't stop and we won't stop and I put pumpkin pie spice seasoning in them today so uh oh breast cancer grace is getting a little wily in the kitchen uh oh she's feeling a little good she's probably gonna exhaust herself <laughs> good morning it is Saturday um I'm in slow motion today I slept for 12 hours last night that's crazy and I'm doing something psychotic. I'm making banana pancakes. <laughs> I, now they've just become like this comfort meal first thing in the morning that I look forward to. I will probably hate these by the time I'm done with chemo. That's what they say. Don't eat food that you love while you're going through cancer treatment because you will associate it with this experience and you'll hate it. But this I love so much and I added pumpkin pie spice to it and it just feels like I'm a fancy, fancy lady. So we're gonna do that today and then we're gonna sit on the couch for the rest of the day probably. I can't believe I slept 12 hours. Welcome to the fabulous life of fatigue. It is truly an unbelievable experience. Okay, go birds. They have a bye this week. I know football speak. It is Sunday. We're in chemo round five recovery. Honestly, this one's not that bad. They reduced my chemo by 20% and they took out the medication that causes all of the diarrhea. And usually by this day, I'm pretty bad, in bad shape. And I'm, I'm only slightly bad. It's this weird bad where like, you feel just like hungover and gross. You feel awake enough to feel gross and you feel too gross to do anything productive or helpful in your life. Sounds pretty negative. <laughs> yeah, I did make banana pancakes again this morning because I refuse to not be psychotic if I have to be sick. <laughs> it's now 1.10 in the afternoon. I've been sitting here in this nook of the couch pretty much all morning. Um, I brought a book over into my area to perhaps read a book. <laughs> I'm trying not to just like scroll endlessly on my phone because oh man, when you don't feel well and you're just scrolling on everyone out there doing what seems like the most fun thing to be doing, that does not feel good. My red blood cell count is low. So my doctor told me that it's like, I'm at a different altitude than everyone else is. 
<laughs> checks out because I have been feeling like I've had trouble breathing here and there, but I thought it was just anxiety. Turns out, no, it's just the hemoglobin. But yeah, I'm tolerating this. This is fine. <laughs> it's a lot of just this. For anyone that's sick, I guess you know. Watch time go by, figure out how to make time go by. Normally I wouldn't have the energy to even vlog any of it, but I thought while I had some energy I would show you this part of it. Not a lot of bells and whistles going on in this part, which is for the best because... Whoa, hello? Elliot walked in on my vlogging, so I stopped vlogging, but it's okay because I didn't really know what else I was vlogging about. Okay, here's the deal. I don't know if I'll use this clip. Why not? It's real. It's Monday night now. I just got some new blue blockers, clearly, that I love so much. Look, they take up like the majority of my face. How great is that? It's like I'm wearing a helmet on my face, but I can still breathe. Some sort of barrier between me behind these eyes and the outside world. Yeah, I did smoke a little bit of a joint. <laughs> Monday night, it's 8.15. Elliot just left to go to a friend's birthday celebration, which is great because we need one of us to retain some ability to socialize with the outside world <laughs> and remember what that is like so that when this is over, it won't be as jarring to re-enter into that part of society. Crazier than that is that I just made myself a nighttime pancake. Yeah, I am that absolutely insane and it's not insane i mean i am that clear on what i want out of life today has been an okay mm, okay-ish day actually yeah today's been a better day yesterday kind of sucked emotionally i was very down on myself um and then i just like spiraled on top of that by just like letting myself be on my phone mindlessly and till it creates that very familiar anxiety. Make sense of that phrase, like people will choose a familiar hell over an unfamiliar heaven. Today was a much better day. Gave the dog a bath, vacuumed, washed the bedding. For anyone out there that has also done this cancer thing, I get super particular about things being really clean like I never have before. I've been a generally clean person, but not, I wish I was a cleaner person, and now, I'm just really particular about things that like ick me out if they go a little long without being clean, like the bedding, garbage being taken out, the dishes being done, the floors being vacuumed. Maybe that's just general cleanliness that I've suddenly have become aware of. I don't know. This thing has been pushing me across thresholds that I never thought I would be pushed across, and um, general cleanliness is one of them, I guess. This is probably unfortunate to look at because of these glasses. Better, but now I don't get distance. What if I do it like that? Started to feel emotionally a little better, journaled. That always helps. Get the ick from the brain out on the page. Then I just forwarded that momentum into buying Christmas decorations. I have not been much of a Christmas or holiday person before. Elliot is more than I am. And I decided this year, why don't I get into Christmas? I got the time. <laughs> I'm not really going anywhere. And I could use a creative outlet that doesn't require too much of my brain function. Not to say that decorating for Christmas isn't there, isn't an incredibly stimulating cognitive exercise for incredibly adept people. I bought an artificial Christmas tree and I bought some balls for it and I bought some other bits and bobs. Think I'm gonna try to get into Christmas this year. We'll see. Meaning like maybe you'll see. Maybe I'll, yeah. I got the time. <laughs> I have not really been on social media too much today. Wow, how that makes such a difference. And then I wrote some stuff down today. My thoughts and I wrote some jokes. Loosely keeping jokes about this situation and some notes to make a bigger joke thing in the future potentially. It's just me now manifesting. It's new moon energy. This is quite a rambly clip. And I wanna eat my pancake and watch 90 Day Fiance now. But just an update that feeling better today. I have some doctor's appointments tomorrow and Wednesday. Still tired, but doing okay. Look at that woman from Harry Potter. Ah, the tea leaves. <laughs>
Oh, hello. It's Wednesday, and I put some makeup on my face because I'm gonna do therapy on Zoom, and I don't want to look like the Crypt Keeper. I know, usually we do therapy on Tuesdays and Thursdays. This week we're doing Wednesday and Friday because we were seeing how I recover, and I've had a really... Knock on wood. Can Why can't I? Oh my god. You just watched Chemo Brain? in real time. I don't even know if I can, like, use chemo brain as an excuse. That just might be. There's a disconnect between my body and my brain, for sure. After therapy, I've been wanting to shoot, but I haven't felt well enough, and today I feel really excited and well for it. Um, I feel well for it. A video using all the new This Might Get Weird merch, because we got new merch. It's freaking cute as heck. I think it might be my favorite launch of merch that we've done and I'm gonna make outfits out of it because I've been in some version of this and that eagle sweatshirt that you've seen for like five days straight. Look at this merch. We got, I'm gonna put in the description the designer named Hannah who designed our new logo for us. I'll put her Instagram because she's amazing. She's done a lot of designs for us and we love her. And look at that, how cute. And there's a sweatshirt and it's all in these bright Lisa Frank colors and then this sweatshirt is so fun might be my favorite one i don't know then there's this t-shirt that's also fun and then this is this just gives me nickelodeon vibes and i just love it so we're gonna make a little fashion video because we are the epitome of fashion if we say it out loud, it must be true. All those spiritual gurus keep quacking about that. So here it comes. Fashion girly era. I mean, it's not starting. I've been in it. Okay, I gotta get ready for therapy. Okay. Oh, I just shot the fashion video. And I'm tired. That took a lot more effort than I thought it would would because I was having a good time. I'm a little apprehensive because I'm very skinny right now. I've lost weight because I have breast cancer. Mm. But I also am just like, fuck it. I love our merch a lot and I want people to see how cute it can be. I don't know. There's part of me that's like, I don't want to confront anyone with what I'm going through. But then there's also a, part, a big part of me that like, wants to sincerely share like this is what it looks like. Or at least like what I'm willing to share with you. Like there's a lot of emotional stuff that I don't turn a camera on in film. Which I think is a healthy thing. <laughs> but I can't escape being in my body right now and the way it looks. And it looks kind of sick. So obviously I have that concern about confronting people with that. Um, but also there's just like a big f*** it part. I enjoyed getting all dressed up for a little bit. And I enjoy our merch. So that's what this one's about. Though all those thoughts happen at the same time all the time. I'm gonna rest. Content creation is exhausting. You guys, the Christmas decorating has begun. Look at these cuties. Amazon tea lights, Amazon reindeer, and that is a Christmas tree. We will do this when the balls get here. Ornaments, Elliot has told me to call them ornaments. Hello, it is Thursday morning, 10 a.m. I'm sitting on the floor of my office, staying grounded. My office was a mess, is always a mess. It's, um, controlled clutter. We're not here to criticize that. I'm in the same outfit I wore yesterday because the hours of the day, time, so I think my sweat glands have been affected. I don't really sweat in my armpits as much as I did before. Is that a thing? There's no hair there anymore. That's lovely. I was going through stuff in my office that I was like trying to organize and I came across this and I wanted to show you this because this is such a cool and beautiful gift. Damn it. They make bags, purses, clutches. Is purse an old term? I don't know. They make bags. I'd only heard of Hammett because I got a gift of one of their bags for working on a project years ago, and it was from a producer. It was just like such a nice, beautiful gift. I've been carrying this brown little backpack from Zara for maybe five years, maybe more. Back in October, which was Breast Cancer Awareness Month, Hammett DM'd me on Instagram. I never get DMs from brands on Instagram. If you're a brand out there, please DM me. I love, like, I. I'm available, <laughs> but they didn't ask me to do anything. They just said that they had a rogue pink collection for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Part of the proceeds were going to the Breast Cancer Alliance, and just for what I was going through, they wanted to send me one of the bags, and look at this bag. Look at this rogue pink. Little 
rogue pink bag. That's cute. Look at the cadence it's made me take on. You, this is like a nice bag. You want a nice bag or you want to gift someone a nice bag. Hammett has great, beautiful, long-lasting stuff. Thank you, Hammett. I'm a little inspired, especially by playing dress up yesterday, to like, you know, maybe dress up and carry nicer bags. And another thing that's happening today that's really fun is there is this Botanical Gardens, the Huntington Gardens, and they have this tea room that I've been wanting to go to for so long and I keep making reservations and then I have to cancel because I either don't feel well or something's come up. But today we have a reservation at this tea room to go eat little tea sandwiches and drink tea. Maybe I should bring this cute bag. My gosh, I feel like my little teenage self is like, ooh, look at you go. And guess what else we're doing today? We're gonna shower. It's Thursday. Last time we showered was Monday. It's about time. Big day. Big day. Okay, this is my outfit to the gardens and the tea room. I don't know if I like it, but it is what it is. I feel comfortable. I don't know if I'm gonna wear these blue blockers, but they do make me feel like I get to hide behind a wall. But they also make me feel like Jenna Lyons, and that's also a good thing. Very much doing Jenna Lyons cosplay. It is what it is. Let's go get some tea at a tea room. Oh my god. I don't get it. <laughs> What's this baby being so sneaky about? Look at that sneaky little baby. Are, yeah. This is fun. Yeah, we're both this healing. Cool. We're both healing our inner little, little girl, girl today. <laughs> Do I need my big glasses to feel okay on camera? No, it's fine. It's fine. It is now Friday. Oh my God, that tea room was so cute, so delicious. Yes, I had diarrhea afterwards, so worth it. I'm doing okay today, wasn't the worst. Kind of uh, the golden standard for me now. That wasn't the worst digestive experience. I mean, I really pushed my limit. I went from eating the most bland foods to eating every flavor available. So, you know. I knew what I was getting into and I deserved everything I got, which was a great time and a mild amount of diarrhea. Maybe I should leave that fancy tea room my honest review. But it's Friday and look at what has sprung up in this house. Testing this out here is, oh, let me, wait, wait, wait. Oh, oh, that's cute, except it's near food, so I don't know, I don't know. And then look what has exploded over here. Whoa, it's a pile of decorations for a Christmas tree that, is a Christmas tree and I believe tonight we will be decorating it because in this house we are doing whatever the hell we want because we have to take advantage of the moments that I'm feeling really good and I am feeling really good. A little bit of diarrhea but good. Thank you dishwasher for mimicking how my butthole sounds. <laughs> We're not gonna stop there with the cuteness of setting up. Oh wait I got distracted. There's some candles in there. There's a little thing right there. There's a little goose right there. Christmas is happening. I thought we're gonna be decorating a Christmas tree tonight. Look, that's saccharine sweet. Let's make some cookies. And I asked Elliot last night what kind of cookies he would want, and he immediately responded instantaneously. Yes, he was a little high, but instantaneous response. Can you make home meal oatmeal cream pies? And I was like, that's a great idea. I've never tried it before. Found a recipe. We're gonna try to make homemade oatmeal cream pies. Sounds so sexual. I can't think of cream pie without... We're a sweet Christmas family. So let's make some oatmeal cream pies.
email Saturday. No Tria. When I got done making the cookies, I realized I had been standing for like two hours straight. And I was very, I was a tired girl. I was, I had to take a breast cancer break. Um, and that break turned into Elliot and I getting high and just sitting on the couch and watching television, which was great. But today, we're gonna put up the tree. Elliot's on his way back from therapy because we are a full function mental health house. I mop the floors and when he gets home, we're probably gonna get extra cozy and set up our Christmas tree. Ah, I feel like the Hulk, but I'm just like bloated on sweet cringe. Hulk, wholesome. I'm gonna eat some lunch before he gets here so I don't um pass out from standing up. Self-care. Also, we definitely ate two cookies last night and they were the most delicious thing. <laughs> tree has been finished. Elliot's getting changed into something cute and I just made us the cutest little charcuterie because everything's cute. Everything is so cute in this house. <laughs> uh oh. Christmas pants are on. He's dressed in his Christmas best. Yeah. We've started with a ribbon. It's not done. The stemming isn't good yet. <laughs> What's wrong with the tree? It's not looking quite naturally. It's too perfect. It's okay. artificial. Okay. No. All right. Okay, we're stopping for tonight. This is as far as we go, which I think is an excellent start. Woo! And look, he's put the lights all Christmas. Oh my God. Oh, hello. It's now Sunday. I'm wearing the exact same thing as Saturday because again, time. And I don't sweat that much anymore. Thank you, breast cancer. Not done, but we will get it done. I have been editing this vlog for you all morning, and I didn't have an outro to it, but wow, what a vlog. We went to chemo. You saw a little bit of chemo recovery, what it looks like. This round was a much more pleasant round, so showing you was a lot easier than the previous rounds, and you don't need to see what happened in previous rounds. We went and got tea, and we decorated for Christmas, so what a lovely spectrum of joyful and not so joyful moments. I'm gonna end it so that I don't have to do any more editing, but I hope you enjoyed this video. I've been really enjoying vlogging and getting back into it a little bit. It's rusty, but I'm enjoying it and I hope you are too. I have my last round of chemo, oh my god. My last round of chemo in like a week and a half. Fucking crazy. And then I will be prepping for a surgery and then we figure out after surgery. We've been working behind the scenes on all of that kind of stuff too. But so far, fingers crossed, things are going okay. My holidays will be spent probably doing a surgery or recovering from surgery, but that's fine. I'm gonna be in this house, which is becoming a Christmas house, so I'm setting myself up for success. Um, yeah! Ending a video. We've always been awesome at it, and we continue to be awesome at it. All right, see you next time I pick up this camera.